Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Punch Jarred on a speedball with his friend Roy. We're playing Punch Club and I am the Mama Set. What are we doing? We've got a fight today and we're just going to see how high we can get our agility. I think we might be able to get it to a 9. I'd be very, very surprised. We're mostly just getting some stats and training on while we've got Roy's ever present bonus for the day. Roy, who just likes, you know, just kind of stare at us and stare at us and stare at us and stare at us and stare at us while we do this training. When you're training together, Roy. You could at least help <laughs> a little bit. We're about to get bored of this. Plenty of food and the rest of it. Reasonable amount of cash in the bank. We filled the fridge with meat. Let's get some skipping on. I would love to get this to a nine before the next fight. That'd be amazing. But I just don't think we're going to do it. I think we're going to run out of time. Run it right to the wire. And there's the wire. Fight! Mr. Kazuki, the guy with the stupid amount of energy. So you can. Backhand punch. Thunderbolt. 30% of her energy. Wow, we're gonna lose. Um, wind flow dodge. Unstoppable. We have the extra one. have any energy really put into it. So let's go with punch and kick. So we are basically going to be running on... He's got 10 points of damage reduction. Alright, let's drop that one and we'll go with... High karate kick. My thought was to try and run on a low energy profile. I just don't think we're going to have much of the way they are. This guy is going to absolutely ruin us. Though if he keeps whiffing like that... Burning through his energy, but he's got this energy stat thing. Strength will temporarily grow. Come on, Punch Child, you can do it. This guy's got so much health. You just don't fall down, do you, Mr. Kazuki? Whereas we, on the other hand, are going to really struggle because we can't actually burn out his energy. That electrician thing you get basically means he will never run out. Not afford to miss. I suspect we might need to go wander off and do something else for a bit first. We need some more skill points. So we've got a counter attack dodge him, and now we're almost out of energy. And we've not got him down to half hit points yet, and here's the final blow. Down we go. So we learnt a little bit out of that, but we got our ass handed to us. So our health is looking pretty poor. I would like to... Hamper training was a guarantee to sparring fight. Our health is too low for that. Fight, sign up. Three days. We've still got a little bit more time with Roy. Let's go on in and just carry on training to get that up to nine. It'll drop down immediately the next day, but while Roy's here and we've still got a bit of food left, we might as well take advantage of it. So yeah, so seeing on the end of that thing, looking at the skill set last episode, the, the don't fall down three is a thirteen. Having an agility of eight is pretty good going, but it looks like we are done. Our health is a bit low for us. We can only take on a fight like that right now. Um, grocery store, mix office, the bar. Yeah, we could just get our, our a bar fight on. That wouldn't be too bad an idea. We should probably head home and stick some food in our faces. But not the awful burger. Eat to them. Get that sorted out. Let's go talk to Casey. Do you have any pizzas we can deliver? Ask about special pizza? Why is your pizza so popular? Yeah. It's so tasty and spicy. I hope I'll try it someday. Special order. Alright. Okay. Pizza delivery. Leave it here. What? You hear a scary noise. That's a ninja crocodile. 
beat Bill. This is Bill. He's a crocodile. You need to be more careful with the spices from the pizza. So you have Shining Knight, less damage. You've also got a base of a backlash, high kick. No, nothing particularly impressive. Let's um, put that punch back in and see if we can do some damage. Oh, we just got hit by his tail. Yep, he's tail kicking us. Come on, kick him more. Us just sitting there and waiting really doesn't help. You can see though that plus coming up because he just got more stamina. We just don't have any stamina, or you don't recover any energy at all. Said so we are still kicking him, we're still punching him. His energy is. Our low stamina is a big problem, we just don't recover any energy between fights, so long fights just don't favour us. Instead, we've nearly got him... We've... He's out of energy. We're out of energy. Watch this. So the round will end and we don't gain the thing, and he does, because he has stamina and we do not. So this fight was looking possible until we ran out of energy. Because he's just going to keep doing that. So the, despite the fact that this was getting pretty low, proportionally. There we go. Down we go. We just got beaten up by a crocodile called Bill. That was strange. Yeah, that was weird. What's new? Not now, kid. Alright, fine. Let's just deliver some pizza for you. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Is there a strap on the back of that? I mean, the helmet's a bit weird. Although that's a reference to. Pretty much everything is a reference in this game. Day 43, I know. Stop. I'm not entirely sure why we need the cash. I'm pretty sure I bought the fridge. So. Well, we did eat some of it. Smacking out's not going to help much. Yeah, that'll let's give it a little bit of cash for the gym. When we're we next fighting, a couple days. So we will head for the map. We are tired, so Punch Shard will be doing so. Oh, that's <laughs> this is if we don't sleep here. We sleep here <laughs> on the couch, not in the, the pizza parlor. Yeah, we lost a few points. I don't think we'll be getting up to 9 anytime soon. I think we'll probably focus on getting our stamina up a bit, the cost of our agility. Once his um, punch here has finished having a nap, more up to full feeling. We'll stick some meat in his face. Do you not? Yeah, you do eventually wake up, but you know, apparently you do just keep sleeping if we don't provoke you. Know, eat that twice. To there. And uh, the cat. So we were thinking about stamina training, weren't we? Let's have a quick look at our character information. So our current accuracy is 2.4. So I think we can probably perk some traits. So we've got Thin Guy. Zero to double often. Tactic Learner. Don't fall down one. Rice Eater. Don't fall down two. Okay. Did we pick up skill tree? Let's just find our basic karate high crit kick. So we're actually 142 right now. So we could probably sacrifice a little bit of that for a little bit of stamina. So in that case, let us also put some skill points. Our health's not too bad. So okay, let us head to the city map, head to the gym. fight with you 20, so I can't afford the gym if I do that. Right, we'll head to the gym, and we will run. And just see how high we can get this before fight day. 
which is tomorrow. Back on the treadmill. So beforehand, come off the treadmill just briefly. Beforehand, we had a stamp and accuracy that is down to 2.2. All right, which meant our basic karate kick has 130. All right, let's not too bad. Let's just get back on that for the day. And let time dip faster a bit until you're fed up with that. You're fed up with that. All right, do a bit of this. So I don't know, having a little bit more strength. The ability to just do a little bit more damage. Yeah, that's just raw strength, that one is. What's that one do? You also just raw meat. Yeah, you're raw meat as well. Try the punch bag. Alright, that's. Yeah, popping up a little bit of strength. on that one and just get strength up to come off it so our accuracy is now 1.8 if we look at try karate kick 112 so let's see how that does for a fighting now that we've got that the other thing I'll do ooh, I don't want to double check so our arm is up to 3.9 we now have some kind of energy regeneration Which is nice to see, and I want to click on that and just check how much damage we're now doing with our high karate kick. Seven points of damage. So it does cost a little bit more energy. We've got a little bit more energy, so let's go and try fighting Salvador Puches, who is another agility character. Now this guy is going to probably cause us a lot of problems. He doesn't have counter-attacking one. So this is mostly going to be a, a, a episode of whiffing and waffling. No, he did just put a 19 combo on me. Yeah, we're out of energy. Out of energy again. Down we go. Yeah, this fight's going to be over pretty quickly. Ditch that for punch, ditch that for kick. Yeah, so we have four points of damage on the counter attack there, another four points of damage on the counter, but then he's not this time. <laughs> wow, we're struggling with this. I think it might be worthwhile to start poking around in those ultimate fights. I think that's the only way we're going to be making a lot of progress right now because the uh, main league is just kicking our ass and we need skill points if we're going to get any further. So let's head back to the city and we're going to head back to our flat and eat a bit of meat, improve our mood a little bit, a little bit of a nap, try and get some health back. Yep. We are probably going to go and pick an ultimate fight. So stick some meat in your face. That's just mood, that just kills time. Pet the cat. Pet that cat. See, that should do more. Like the fish tank. There's a negative time, but we can poke the fish tank. Literally just poked the fish tank. Alright. City map. Fight. Jared, you're at 353. You're a technician. You've got that leg breaker thing. With wind flow dodge. Rain of strikes. I don't block. Punch and kick. Let's switch that out for... Karate kick. Backhand punch. And let's see how quickly we run out of energy. So we're pretty much the same style of character, we just have a significant agility advantage. Ooh, got a combo in there. Not sure one two punch. Alright, so this sounds how like Jazz are getting us some cash and some money. Twenty-five combo. 
Yeah, that's a kick in the head. We were fighting a mirror of us from a few weeks ago. Come on, finish him off. Oh, I didn't get the first round. I didn't get this. This, this, this round's going to be pretty short. There we go. Thump. There he goes. So we only got two skill points in that. We got a bit of cash, and our mood's greatly improved. We didn't lose too much in that. Hmm. Do with the red eye. It's the man who killed our father. <laughs> Tournament on his island. I'm a champion! Fair enough. Oh, he reached the yellow zone. Fight leagues. Two roads opponents. Those are just random opponents. Strong So these are two fights in a row. They're pretty brutal. Alright. So that was a thing. That got us a couple of more score points. 16 is we need for the next one. I believe it was Reign of Strikes we were looking for. No, I think we're probably... yeah. We took the skill thing because we wanted to take another skill. So before we do that, we will probably be taking Reign of Strikes. Giving us the ability to do Reigns of Strikes. The idea of getting through some of the damage stuff, penetrating strikes, I think would be quite nice as well. The next agility focus. Another ability slot. So we'll have a look. I mean, Rain of Strikes is nice, but Penetrating Strike actually might be more useful. We'll have a look. We'll have to keep going through it all, but we still need those skill points. We're in a reasonably good state right now. Let's go and pick a fight with a bum. Hey, Tyler. Test myself. Clouds? Uh, clouds are going down. You're a 3-3-3. I am a 2-8-3. I am just going to keep kicking you a lot, and you are going to be generally unable to hit me. Seems we couldn't find out what the dependencies on those were. Come on. Kick him more. I really like to be in a situation where I could know when that one fires. Come on. Down you go. Win! That gave us four skill points. Test myself. Fine. Any burgers in here? Eh, yeah, I will have more luck. I hope not. They're not a nice place. Alright, so we are... Lacking a little bit in health, but generally we're pretty good. We are a, only a skill point off from doing anything, so we should probably take advantage of that. Head over here, talk to Silver, and spar with the guy. Even if he kicks our ass, we're going to get the, skill, the single skill point we need to pick up Reign of Strikes. We'll have three modifiers and a single attack move, and it will be a pretty good build. I would love to be able to find out when you're getting to knock this guy down. I think the build I'm going to settle on at the moment is basically going to be a 383. I think as long as our accuracy is above 1.5, then we should be fine. Come on. Get his energy down. Don't necessarily get his energy down by getting punched in the face a lot. Get his energy down, so at least we've got more hit points than him. Win! Three skill points. Skill tree. Way of the tiger. Rain of strikes. Place his kick. Place his high kick. Alright, well, I don't necessarily need those, but I've got rain of strikes, which is going to be just that much more deadly. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Punch Jarred. Punch Jarred now, now, now knows how to do a rain of strikes. What's that spell?
Oh, AIR. Okay, so it's not a sovereignty of striking, it's, it's like a precipitation of striking. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Punch Club with our hero, Punch Chard. He was unstoppable, now he can rain strikes upon his foes. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or leave comments.